Why are over 500 giant crocodiles living right under one of America's most dangerous nuclear power plants? And here's the shocking part. These crocs are literally surviving in radioactive water. But how? Welcome to Turkey Point Nuclear Power Plant in South Florida, where radiation levels can reach three times higher than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Right next to this plant, there's a 160-kilometer-long man-made cooling canal system storing water used to cool down the reactors. But here's the twist. These canals have become home to 25% of America's native crocodiles. So how are these reptiles thriving in radioactive water? First, the plant uses brackish water, a mix of salt water and fresh water, and maintains the temperature between 30 degrees Celsius to 37 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Celsius to 98 degrees Celsius. That's actually the perfect habitat for crocodiles, even in winter. A radioactive tritium leak caused radiation levels in the canals to spike 300 times higher than surface water. But these crocs? Completely fine. Why? Because their metabolism is 60 times slower than humans, meaning their cell division happens extremely slowly. Radiation mainly attacks fast-dividing cells, so these crocodiles are naturally protected. Plus, their thick, melanin-rich skin helps absorb and dissipate radiation effectively. And here's another fact. The cooling water never directly touches the reactor core. It only absorbs heat from the condensers, which limits actual radiation exposure. And that's why these canals have become a safe haven for over 500 crocodiles living right next to one of the most radioactive zones in the U.S. If you thought nuclear power was dangerous, wait until you see how nature fights back. Hit like, share this with your friends, and subscribe for more unbelievable science secrets.